find simple interest on a principal of 7500 rupees at an interest rate of 11% per annum for one year. So can I say here they have given me principal is how much 7500 rupees. They have even given me the time one year. And what is the rate here? It is nothing but 11% per annum. And they are asking me what? Simple interest. We know simple interest equals PTR divided by 100. Principal is 7500. Time is one year. This is 11%. So by 100. Double zero, double zero gets cancelled. 75 into 11 will be 750 plus 75. That is nothing but 825. This is our answer. Am I right? Now, this method is right, okay? Uh, applying the formula, getting the answer. But I wouldn't recommend this method. And this is how maximum people solve. This is not the way to solve, okay? You should know the concept, but what is the technique which helps you to solve the questions faster in your exam is this. All of you, try to understand the question. I am charging how much from you? 11%. Per annum, which means what? In one year, I am charging 11% extra from you. Now, what is my principal? 7,500 rupees. I am charging 11% of it. Can I split 11% as 10% plus 1%? What is 10%? 750. If 10% is 750, what is 1%? 75. So 11% will be 10% plus 1%. That is nothing but 750 plus 75. What is 750 plus 75? It is nothing but 825. Are we getting the same answer? Yes, sir. We are getting the same answer in a faster way. I will solve simple interest and compound interest, not using the formulas, but using percentage concept. Using this concept, we can understand the question better and also solve it in the fastest way possible. I hope you have understood the concept. Please take down both the methods. A man borrowed 15,000 rupees at 24% per annum simple interest to clear the debt after five years, find the final amount he must return. Now people, you tell me every year, suppose I am taking a loan from you. I am taking how much rupees from you? I am taking a loan of 15,000. This is nothing but the principal amount. Yes. Now you're telling Himanshu, you have to pay me 24% per annum, which means every year I have to pay you 24% of this amount as interest, extra money. Why I have to pay extra money? Because I've taken a loan from you. And this happens for how many years? Five years. Now in one year, if I'm charging 24%, in five years, I'll be charging how much percent? 24 into five. What is 24 into five? 24 into five is nothing but 120%. Which means every year I have to give you 24% extra. In five years, I have to give you 120% extra, which means this is nothing but my interest. I have to pay you 120% of 15,000 only as interest. Clear? So can I split 120% as 100% plus 20%? What is 100% of 15,000? It is nothing but 15,000. Now I need 20%. What is 10%? 1500. If 10% is 1500, 20% is how much? 3000. So this will be 15,000 plus 3000 is 18,000. Now you tell me what is this 18,000 we got? This is nothing but the interest which we have to pay. Am I right? So after five years, what is the final amount I should pay you? I should pay the original amount which I've taken from you. And along with that, I have to pay you the interest. So answer should be 15,000 plus 18,000. 15 plus 18 is how much? It is nothing but 33,000 rupees. I hope this way you are able to understand the concept better. You don't have to apply the formulas. Apply your logic, apply your reasoning skills. Get the answer in the fastest way. Please copy it down. The amount after the end of two years is 6,000 at 10% per annum, find the sum. People, this is a very interesting sum. I'll tell you the fastest way to solve this problem. Now you tell me what is the interest rate? 
10% per annum and this is calculated for how many years? 2 years. So in 1 year if it is 10% per annum, in 2 years it will be 20% per annum. Yes or no? So interest I got it as 20% per annum. Can I say principal is 100%? Now I am taking a loan from you, 100% of principal and I am giving you 20% interest on it. So what is the total amount you will be getting? 100% plus 20% that is nothing but 120%. Can I say this is my final amount? Suppose I am taking 100% from you and I am adding 30% as interest. So what is the total amount I should return you? 130% of principal. Same way over here, my total amount is 120% and this 120% they have given as how much? 6000 rupees. So 120% is nothing but 120 by 100. 0 and 0 gets cancelled. 12 ones are 12 fives are. So answer is 500 into 10 that is nothing but 5000 rupees. That's all people. So this is my principal. Now see 20%. 10% is 500. 20% is 1000. So on 5000 if I have an interest of 1000 can I say my final amount will be 6000 rupees? Yes or no? So I hope you have understood the concept. Please copy it down. Okay, now question number six is also of the same type like question number five. Look at sixth one. A sum of a sum at simple interest of how much percent? Four percent per annum amounts to three thousand one twenty rupees in how many years? Five years. Now very simple. Every year I should pay you how much percent? Suppose I am taking a loan from you, and you I am taking a loan from you, and you tell Himanshu you have to pay four percent every year. Okay, so I am paying you 4% every year. This is happening for how many years? 5 years. So in 1 year if I am paying you 4%, in 5 years I will be paying you how much percent? 4 into 5, 20% interest. I have taken 100% of the amount and I have to pay you 20% of the amount as interest. So what is the total amount I have to pay you? 100% plus 20% interest that is nothing but 120%. And this 120% they have given as what? 3,120 rupees. So this 120% means 120 by 100, 0 and 0 gets cancelled. 12 ones are, 12 twos are 24, 12 six is 72 followed by 0. So answer is 260 into 10, that is 2,600 rupees. This is my principle. I hope you have understood the concept. Very simple, you can solve it within one line. Okay, but if you apply PTR by 100, you will take a lot of lines and a lot of time. So please ignore the formula, go with this method. A man borrowed 12,000 rupees at 10% per annum and lent the same amount to another person at 15% per annum. Find his profit after 5 years. Now this question, no. Um, I am buying at 10% per annum and I am lending at 15% per annum. So here you calculate P1, T1, R1 by 100, P2, T2, R2 by 100 if I go with the formulas. But I will tell you how to solve this without touching the pen in quant master style. Look at the question. I am borrowing how much percent from you? 10% from you. And I am giving it to some other person at how much percent? 15%. Buying at 10% and giving to someone at 15%. You tell me how much percent profit I got? 5% profit. This is for 1 year. And this is happening for how many years? 5 years. Sir, in 1 year if I am getting 5% profit, in 5 years how much percent profit will I get? 5 into 5, 25% profit. Can I say 25% is nothing but 25 by 100? 25 by 100 can I say is nothing but one fourth of the amount? So I will be getting a profit of one fourth of the principal. And what is the principal they have given? 12,000. So I will be getting profit of one fourth of 12,000 that is nothing but 3,000 rupees. I hope the concept is clear all of you. Please write it down. sum of money lent at simple interest amounts to 880 rupees in how many years? 2 years and 920 rupees in how many years? 3 years. Sir, I am getting 880 rupees in 2 years and 920 rupees in 3 years which means can I say I got 420 rupees 
not 420 sorry 880 and 920 which means i got how much rupees extra i got 40 rupees extra in how many years 2 to 3 that is nothing but 1 year so can i say my interest is 40 rupees in 1 year what is the question they are asking the sum of money sorry they are asking me the sum of money and rate of interest sum of money so i got to know 40 rupees in 1 year so in 2 years i'll be getting how much interest 80 rupees so from 880 if i remove 80 can i say 800 will be my principal yes or no and interest is 40 can i say 40 is half of 80 that is nothing but half of 10 percent how much percent is that five percent so answer is 800 comma five percent do we have that option option a i hope the concept is clear please write it down A man had rupees 16,000, some part of it he lent at 4% and the rest he lent at how much percent? 5%. So he had 16,000 rupees with him, some part of it he lent at 4% per annum and the remaining part he left, lent at how much? 5% per annum. Which means this 16,000 is dividing into two parts. We do not know what is that two parts. Let one part be x. If one part is x, other part will be uh, 16,000 minus x rupees. So x rupees is lending at 4% and 16,000 minus x rupees is lending at how much percent? 5%. What is the next part? If the total interest he received was how much? 700 rupees. In one year, the money lent at 4% per annum was now let me go with options okay now see if i go with the normal method it will take a lot of time p1 r1 t1 by 100 p2 r2 t2 by 100 if i add both i have to get 700 and then i have to find out the value of p okay so this is quite time consuming so i'll go with the options if 12000 is there out of 16 if he's paying 12000 at 4 percent then at 5% he'll be giving the remaining out uh, remaining amount out of 16 is paying 12 remaining is what 4000 rupees yes or no same way 8000 out of 16 remaining is what 8000 10000 out of 16 remaining is what 6000 6000 out of 16 remaining is what 10000 they're asking 4% is how much let me take this option now uh, 12000 what is 10% 1200 what is 1% 120 if 1% 1 is 120 what is 4% it is nothing but 480 so I'm getting 480 rupees from 4% now 5% of this what is 10% 400 if 10% is 400 what is 5% 200 so am I getting a total interest of 700 from option A no sir I am getting a 680 so this cannot be my answer look at option B I am getting 4%. Can I say 1% is 80? So 4% will be what? 320. From this 5%, 10% is 800. 5% will be 400. So 400 plus 320, am I getting 700? No. Just check, is it 700 or 720? It is 700. So option B also cannot be the answer. Option C, 4%. 1% is 100. 4% will be 400 5% 10% is 600 5% is 300 people am I getting 700 which is matching so answer has to be option C this is the fastest and the best way to solve this problem I hope the concept is clear please write it down Question number 17, a sum of money becomes 7 by 6 times of itself in 3 years at a certain rate of interest. The rate per annum is. People, what I will do is, I will give you 1 minute time, okay? Try to solve this problem. If you're not able to solve, we will solve it after a minute. So take a minute, try giving your best. Your time starts now.
okay so i hope you have tried and uh, you would have got stuck in somewhere now this sum i will tell you how do you solve it within one line see the question a sum of money becomes 7 by 6 times of itself can i say 7 by 6 can be written as 6 by 6 plus 1 by 6 7 by 6 can be written as 6 by 6 plus 1 by 6 can i say 6 by 6 is nothing but the principle itself original principle plus 1 by 6 now what is this plus 1 by 6 we got this is nothing but the interest that we got see initial principle was 1p can i say 1p is nothing but 6 by 6p yes or no now this 6 by 6p is becoming 7 by 6p which means can i say i got 1 by 6 extra this extra is nothing but my interest which i've got okay and this i've got in how many years three years so this is my principal by 6 so p by 6 i am getting in three years what are they asking the rate per annum is now if i am getting p by 6 in three years can i say p is nothing but 100 percent 100 percent by 6 in three years so in one year i will be getting 100 percent by how much 6 threes are 18 so 100 by 18 can i say will be 5.10 again 100 5.5 percent just check do we have this option okay we have it in mixed format so it will be 18 5 is a 90 remainder is 10 by 18 this 10 by 18 can be written as 5 by 9 just check if we have this option 5 5 by 9 that is nothing but option a i hope you have understood the question this is the most simplest way to solve the problem please write it